Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Safari. Today I'm going to be going over a natural slash smoky eye look. So with this look, I've already prepped and primed my skin and I've already completed my brows. So just to, you know, for time's sake, I just wanted to go on and speed up everything for you guys. Okay, so I'm going in with the Kat Von D eye primer and I'm using my fingers to actually work the product in to kind of warm it up. And I'm just using my ring finger to apply it around my eyes. Okay, so today I will be using the MAC palette that you saw me purchase in my last video. So I used the MAC palette and I took that bottom middle color, so I'm just applying that right above my crease. So I'm just applying it all in the crease and then I'm kind of angling it up just a little bit because I don't want it exactly directly in my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to use the Delium 781 and I'm going to go back into that MAC palette and get that brown, light brown, almost like a skin tone in that middle to the right row. And I'm just going to go right in my crease a little bit more under than what I did the first color and I'm just going to kind of smoke that out. Notice I'm angling my brush down because I definitely want to kind of work it in that crease area. this particular look, it's all about the angles and taking time to just keep blending. Okay, so with this, I'm actually going back with the other brush that I was using at the very beginning. Um, and I'm using this to actually dip it into the Pure Color Gelay Eyeshadow, which is an Estee Lauder color, and it's a 7. in just a little bit more into my eye instead of on the outer part and I'm just gonna blend 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 to kind of make the illusion of that gradient gradual smoky eye So right here you kind of see me tugging a little bit with my ring finger. I'm just kind of tugging just a little bit because I do have like kind of lines a little bit <laughs> within my eyes. It's almost like a hooded lid but it's not. So I'm just kind of tugging just a little bit to make sure that's blended out and perfected in the crease. If you're having a hard time actually blending the colors out, sometimes it's best to just get another blending brush and with no product on it and just go back in and blend the colors a little bit better. I'm just taking a 
flat brush and I'm going to spray a little bit of Vicks Plus and I'm going to dip it into that Cyber Ruby. You can also just use like a, just a deeper, like a brown or black to kind of smoke out those edges a little bit. But I'm going to stay close to that lash line and that's just going to help it look more dramatic when I add like my lashes and my mascara as well as giving it that gradient blended look. Okay, I'm going in with another new brush, and this is a little wider, just so I can pick up that pigment on that middle to second to the left row, and I'm just going to place that right there on my lid, and kind of bring it into my tear duct. Now, this is what brings the look to life. I'm not going above like as if we had an imaginary crease just because I want that gradient look. As you can see the look is finally coming together but you want to take that Fix Plus and wet your brush and then go into that middle color. This is why I bought the MAC palette. This color is everything. If you want to take this and just go right over that light color starting at the inner tear duct and then working your way in kind of middle of your eye. I just wanted to make sure everything was blended so I went back in at that middle bottom row and just kind of going right there in that crease to just blend everything out to make sure everything is blended. Okay, so this step is optional. You don't have to do this, but I love adding lashes to complete the look. So I'm just taking my Creme 2 16 lashes and just applying it as you can see here. Make sure you look down but don't close your eyes all the way and make sure your glue gets kind of tacky before you put it on. Taking that L'Oreal eyeliner and I'm just using this brush just so I can kind of warm up the product on there and then kind of cover up that lash band. With a wet beauty blender, I'm going in and I'm using my foundation in Honey Bronze uh, 4W1 and Estee Lauder. Okay, I just realized it has all the names on the back, so I'm going in with Dark Brew in that uh, under the water line, uh, or the lash line, to kind of just smoke it out and complete that look. Okay, you know I'm all about that Napoleon eyeshadow, so I use this Starlight in my water line just to kind of add a little zest to it. Okay, so we're almost done. We're just going to go in with Global Glow as our highlighter. And isn't that such a pretty color? And you're going to use that Make Your Move lipstick and your last Domination Mascara. Okay, and so now I'm just dusting this Global Glow across uh, the bridge of my nose as well as my cheekbones just to give it a little pizzazz. I didn't do 
do any contouring. I'm just going in with Bare Minerals, a little sun, just to kind of warm up the apples of my skin. Okay, so now it's time to suck those cheeks in and make the fishy face. When you use your brush, you want to kind of go up in circular motion. Next, I will be applying Soar in MAC to line my lips with. I'm going in with Global Glow and just a little bit over that cupid bow and then I'm going to line the lips so kind of add a little more of a pouty look to it. And then I'm going last but not least with Make Your Move Lipstick from Bare Minerals on top. Last, I'm just going in, touching my brows up, and if you want to go on and set your makeup with your favorite setting spray, that's the time to go on and do that. And you made it to the end of my video. Thank you once again for watching and coming to my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.